Hi guys, Vex here, and welcome to Minecraft at 60 FPS. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can thank uh, my experience with Fallout 4. So we're on the new snapshot. We're on 15 week 47A, and uh, something, things are not going exactly. Uh, just look at it. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh, now my pants are transparent. Okay, well, I'm glad the other pants are not transparent. Otherwise, you'd be seeing some vexy bits. And uh, I'd have to make this episode have a, like, uh, like a mature tag on it or something. But, uh, actually, that's kind of that's kind of cool. My goggles, you can actually see my eyes, my blue eyes. What the f... Okay. Alright, now I'm... That's what my skin looks like now. It's... They're messing with uh, the transparency settings for skins. Oh, that's uh, not exactly what my skin is supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, well, it'll be derped up, I guess. Let's put the armor back on. All right, so I've been f playing a lot of Fallout 4, but what you might not know is I was also playing some Minecraft a lot off camera, and I was just kind of just my, my Zen garden is down here. Uh, this is this is my Zen garden down here, and it's it's my bedrock mines. Now you might notice that it's dug out just a small little tiny bit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of the things I've been working on. I got diamonds, and there we go. That's what I was finally waiting on. It took me. Let me go ahead and show you. Oh, the chest. Yes, look at this. Look at this awesomeness. They work. They work just fine. Um, yeah, they work just fine. I got a potato off a, a zombie. So that's cool. So I got potatoes now. Uh, and, and you go. Alright, but yeah, so the chests are all weird looking and stuff. So I'm not going to roll back because this is kind of kind of funny. The, anyway. Uh, I put slabs here to stop slimes from spawning, because there's actually a spawner a slime spawning, like, right here. And while I was AFK, like, I'd open the game to land so it wouldn't pause. Like, it pauses if you hit escape, but if you open it to land, it keeps going. Oh, pardon me. Oh, sniffles. Oh, no sniffles. Oh, don't get sick. And there's a... Is my chunk loader? Yeah, it's my chunk loader. Uh, so that the crops can grow. But... Yeah, the the slime spawning over here. I think I've seen one. How'd you get in here? Go away. Get out. Get out. Get out of here, you poopy. Uh, but I've seen a slime over there, and so yeah, that's not totally cool. But whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, tools are over this chest, right? Value of this chest. So here's what I went through until I. This is how many uh, tries for enchanting it took to get uh, the fortune. Booyah, there it is. I also actually made some books. Uh, so here's some books I did. This is the one I got from the dungeon, and these are the two ones I did. Uh, and then... And then, over here, I was uh, sucking out the sweet and sour sauce. Because I have a plan, I'd like to make a lava-powered uh, automatic smelter, where it feeds the lava in automatically, and the and the resources in, and it's it's all awesome and stuff. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I thought I had a bunch of stone. Yeah, here we go. These are for stone slabs, and so I can try to slime-proof some areas. And that's all. Okay, that's all for now. So yeah, this took a while, but uh, I'm quite happy with it. It makes me really happy just seeing this big, wide open space under the ground. Oh my god, the bat's transparent. What the hell? All right, so let's do the fortune, and I've been waiting to do this, and we're going to do the fortune on the, all these diamonds. I think I had already mined out... Let me see here. Uh, frame rate keeps hitching slightly, so let's turn that down to like 12 chunks. We don't really need that underground anyway. Uh... So I've got no diamonds on me. Let's rock. I 
And now I have ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba 38. 38 diamonds. I am a very happy little vetches. I want more diamonds. Give me. Get whoa. My frame rate hitching. Why? Why are you hitching? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it keeps uh hitching up on me. Ah! Why? I don't know what's going on. That's weird. Uh, I got 63, 64, uh, 60, 67 diamonds. Let's do math properly on camera. Yeah, this is very odd. Let me. How about? I don't know. Stop hitching, damn it. Hmm. And I was doing this whole area in polished granite because I quite like the way it looks. And it reminds me of uh, my base that I had before. So my big plan is to eventually uh, get this area done up like... Uh, my season four base. So I want to have intersections. I want to remake Project Rainbow. Uh, I want to do all that stuff and make it awesome. And this time I don't have to worry about a server reset wiping everything. <clears throat> so that makes me pretty happy. Uh, let's do this. Uh... Oh, I'm level 30. I can do another enchantment. Uh, let's do a sword now because I'm kind of uh, tired of... I mean, I've got all the picks that I need, right? Yeah. So, and I've got the diamond to make diamond sword. All right, and I have plenty of lupus. Yep, plenty of lupus. Let's see. Did the book, the pages just go through? This is trippy. This is so trippy. All right. Fire aspect two. Um, that's good. Fire aspect and sharpness would be great. Fire aspect and sharpness? No, just fire aspect. Oh. Um. Do I want to stick a. How much is a smite 5? Because I'd quite like smite. Smite's pretty good for just about everything I would want a sword to do. Uh, and the fire aspect makes it nice. Let's call you... Uh, Van no, not Vanguard. Uh, let's call you... Hmm. Uh, Luciander. I actually have a real-life sword called Luciander. Uh, Luciander, Sword of Light. You can Google it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so switch it. Uh, you got a silk touch pick. Don't really know what I'm going to do with a silk touch pick at the moment, but other than move grass around, I guess. Don't really have much in the way of emeralds. It doesn't really bug me, though, because I've never really felt the urge to like make some sort of villager trading grinder thing. Like, I don't really... Like, I know it's involved, because I saw, like, Doc do it on the server. And I gotta be honest, it's just kind of, I mean, it's really nice when you get it all done, but it's a lot of, it's just, it's too much work, I think, for me. Like, I don't care that much, I guess. Uh, I don't want to, I'll use the, I wanted to use the cobblestone. Yeah, let's get this out of the way and fill this back in. There we go. And we can fill it in with some nice polished granite. There we go. So slowly but surely this is picking or making this into and my inventory's full. Uh I think I can go without a stick. Yep. She said come on, this beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your disc ghost. Damn it. I get songs stuck in my head. So I'm saving up all that for my, um, I want to make a, uh, 
smelty, smelty machine. And now I've got plenty of space here underground to make all kinds of contraptions down here. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, that doesn't need to be grown. Uh, now what? Uh, so next up on the list, I probably need to sort my inventory real quick. And I'm back. Inventory is eh, mostly sorted. Um, so for today's episode, I don't know if I mentioned this actually yet. I've been derping around my base. But that's what vetches are known to do. Uh, I'm going to Zineza. Uh, Zineza. Zineza. Yes. Uh, I, you know what? Uh, it's probably a smart idea to take a f bit of cobble to the nether with me so that I can um, make a base, make a little shelter. Because I've been probably putting it off too long because I haven't really needed any... I don't really need potions for anything that much. Uh, and I hear skeletons around here. It's bugging the crap out of me. I'll, I'll find them later. Let's go see what's in here. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going in. All right. All right, double-sided. Two, two exits here. Doesn't seem too bad. Where am I height-wise in here? Wow, I'm... Okay, so I'm pretty close to, like, nether bedrock, basically. Oh, there's another nether quartz. We're gonna fortune that up. Does fortune work on this? Yeah, it's got to. Doesn't it? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> so there's the bedrock in the nether. Um, In hindsight, maybe I should... I don't know, I mean, maybe being down in the bedrock in the lower level of the nether is not that bad. Uh, oh, that's what I was looking for. I want some XP. And you must die. <laughs> wow, I hit him hard. Oh, and they're all mad at me. Excellent. Bring it, Zistos! I fear you. I do not fear you. <laughs> All right, I might, I might fear that many of them. That's a decent amount of Zistos. <laughs> so dumb. Hey, Zisto! Yeah, your roads are crooked in city skylines. That's what I think. <laughs> Die. And you, your little one, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do want to take back some mushies. I can make mushroom soup. I can bone meal this into uh, the big ones. So that should be enough to start a decent mushroom colony. There is a ghast. It's ghastly. So I'm kind of disappointed that all them all them zistos only got me. Bit. I definitely need to make a monster grinder. Uh, uh, maybe I should be lighting this up just so I can remember my trail back. I wish caving in the nether was more rewarding, I guess. Like, is it too much to... I mean, wouldn't it be kind of cool if there was, like, ore here? I mean, they've added nether quartz, but, like, really, like, more useful ones? Like, I at least iron or something? I don't know. Just kind of feels that the, uh... The nether is still underutilized. As far as resources go. Am I lost already? Oh, bugger. Oh, dear. I uh, should have taken that left toin at Albuquerque. Is that Zisto mad at me? I 
would not be doing this if I did not have Smite 5. Did I get a... I got a golden sword. I kind of wish you could um, melt down... weapons and armor to, like, recycle them. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I am... This is... I am, like, 99% sure this is not the way. This is... Uh, I'm lost in the nether. So, uh, relevant to map making, which is what I'm... You know, always nudging the series towards a bit. It, it gives me a chance to just talk to... Ah, oh, yes, okay, so we've come out. Uh, that was glowstone, nether. There's another fortress right here. Outstanding. That's great. Is... I'm not sure I'll use the nether at all in a new map. Is there any reason to? Actual reason to? Just thinking about it. Other than the ambience, the fog, the red fog, that's it. Because I can spawn any other enemy and put down any other ore. Uh, why, am I, why am I putting a torch at the end of this, some cave in the nether? Like, what does that even do? It needs to be in the middle, obviously. Uh, so really, from a game, like, okay, there's the bed mechanics, right? <laughs> I wonder if I crit the pigman if, uh... If that would one-shot them. Ow. Ow. Okay, no more of that. There we go. Man, I should have break us all while coming down the top of the cave, too. Health region, go! There we go. Well, I'm making gold. That's cool. I need looting. So this is back in the original cave. Um, I think it was this way. The fuck is a chicken doing in the nether? How did you... Oh! Oh, it's a jockey chicken. I'm gonna crit you. And one shot you. Fried chicken. Sweet. Oh, I hear my portal. Oh, there is the portal. Okay. I feel a little bit better now. Shh. I was wondering about that. I was like, how did you get in here? Who bothered to spawn you? And why? What's up here? This is just, uh... It keeps going. It keeps going. I should switch picks, but it keeps going. It's not going anymore. It stopped going. So there's the bed mechanics, right? Yeah. So you have the bed mechanics, and you have the fog, and you have the inability to place down water. Water. Uh, I mean... Do I want to have the bed mechanics? Like, at all? Like, is that something that I want in a map? Hey! Get over here. God damn it. Well, they don't seem angry right now. They don't seem angry. Okay. How short your memories are. Good old Zistos. Alright, um, die? Whoop! Whoop! If you one-shot them, does that not let them call for help? Oh, wow. So you just have to make sure to one-shot them. Oh, shit. No, I didn't one-shot them. I didn't one-shot them. Immediately regret all life choices, except this is okay. There we go. Daisisto. There we go. I kind of need a resource pack <laughs> that, um... Replaces the pigman hurt noises with Zisto's like gah, 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 like baby talk noises when he gets flustered. Oh my god, that would be amazing. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Just kill existence. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Alright. So, I don't really think the Nether, other than the few gimmick mechanics, is really... God damn it. Fall damage killed you. Is really, like, necessary, I guess? I mean, it's kind of a... It makes the map more compact, I suppose. Does it? Really? I mean, I guess. Yeah. Um, there's thematic elements, like in Legendary, when you went to, when you got to the bottom of Peaceful Lake, and you finally got to the, the end of that little short dungeon, and then you found the nether portal, and it's just like, oh, oh, snap, we're going to the nether, you know? And that's, that's when you know it's like, shit just got real. So, I mean, there's that. And it creates a... A very pronounced border. You got a, you got the anticipation building of going through the portal, like okay, oh man, oh we found another portal on a super hostile map. Oh man, it's gonna get harder. Oh, we're going through it. We're going through it. Oh, it's gonna be in here. Oh, it's everything's horrible. I'm on fire. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm all my inventory's gone. So, like you got that, right? Because otherwise, I mean, what do you do? You just, you just kind of, you just walk into a new area. Yeah, you just kind of walk into a new area, right? And that's not really very exciting. Uh, it teleports you into a new area, but it's instant. So. Alright. I'm just going to throw all my nether drops in here for now. Because, yeah. Uh, burp, burp. There's gold in the ceiling. I can't reach it. Don't really need the gold that much either. Uh, gold's not really... What do you use gold for anyway? A clock? And the... Uh, Power rails, right? Is that it? I don't remember. I hardly ever use gold outside of UHCs. So that's a pretty big decision to make, I think. Because uh, the nether gets the... You get the gas naturally spawning. Just anywhere there's like a big area. Uh, so that's kind of neat. But, um, I don't know. Could leave the nether natural. And it's for you to go get resources in. The nether is actually, in the grand scheme of things, is pretty... It's pretty chill, in all honesty. Like, it's not that dangerous. Uh... I was actually, you know what, now that I think about it, if I really dwell on it and think about it, I'm kind of disappointed in the difficulty in the nether. Because there's no creepers, there's no skeletons. Bow, there's no bow skeletons. Um, there's no zombies. There's no zombie pack behavior. You just have pigmen and their stupid pathfinding can't they can't pathfind properly and they're not even aggressive and for the most part you can just kind of wander around the nether except for the occasional ghast and then you just shoot him with a bow and he's dead and then that's it right and to even get yourself into danger you've like real danger you need to go find blazes but they're only in like small areas and you intentionally go mess with them. It's not like you're mining in a cave in the overworld and then just a creeper drops on your head and you had no idea it was coming and it just blows you up instantly and you're dead. Like, there's nothing like that in the nether. Because the ghast telegraphs its attack and you hear it's going, 
you know, he's he breathes in and you hear it when he spits a ball at you. And and like it's very very telegraphed. Uh, unless unless there's like a, a custom amount of gas that like, there's like a lot of them and they're always shooting at you because there's so many of them, uh, one or two gas is not that difficult to deal with. Unless you just go in the Nether without a bow, but that's stupid. Like by the time you have the, I think resources to get to the Nether, you'd, you'd have a bow by then. Where are you? So the nether, other than brewing, there's some decorative blocks. Ah, here we go. Uh, but I'm out of coal. Is there any coal? Oh, I've, I'm in a Swiss, this is a Swiss cheese cave, look at this. See, I feel way more threatened in here than I did in the nether. Oh wait, no, I've run through here before. Somehow, somewhere, from something. Swiss cheese. This is way... I feel way more threatened in here than I ever do in the other. And that's a skelly. Like, there could be a creeper coming up behind me, and I wouldn't know. And that was a skelly with boots on, and I took his boots, and that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take this fortune pick and get more... more coal than I ever know what to do with. How about that? Now, what I think would be interesting is to actually uh, use some naturally generated nether terrain and then modify the crap out of it. I think I've, I may have done that before. I think I did. Uh, and put, like, coal and iron and diamond in there. And put it in the overworld. Uh, and when you do that, uh, it gets really... Oh my god, this is a huge coal vein. Uh, it actually gets pretty threatening. Once you, if you basically have nether terrain with natural monsters spawning, like overworld monsters spawning, uh, then it gets a lot more. What is this? Just a lava tube. Uh, it gets a lot more threatening. Now, what would be cool is to have natural spawning monsters. In the overworld. Oh wow, my my big area down here is not all that safe because this opens up here. Hmm. Well, thankfully, I have hair skelly. I don't think it sees me. Is to have the Nether also in addition to everything, basically the Nether like it is now, but have a. Uh, <laughs> heard a noise. I don't know what that was. Uh, have naturally spawning overworld enemies there. Your skeletons, your creepers, you know, all that. Actually, you know what? Uh, instead of spiders, it naturally spawns cave spiders in the nether. That would be cool. See, now we're, now we're talking about, like, a place that sounds like hell. Like, threatening. And I cannot block with Nope. Hey! I think this would one hit kill a skeleton with the burn damage. Is there another skeleton around here? I hear one. Did I get my torches made? Yes. Monsters be gone! Lots of monsters up there. They're not gone at all. They're, in fact, coming down here. Alright, so I'm going to hit the skelly. Alright, he's hit with smite five, and the. F yeah, the burn tick kills him. My stuff up. And when I say my stuff, I mean this world. This whole world is mine. It's all mine. My stuff. Die! Die, spider. So anyway, I'm just uh, thinking out loud, which is the, mostly the point of these videos is... Because, I mean, this is vanilla Minecraft, right? So, you've seen it before. 
on my channel, on other people's channels. So the, the main point of the series is for me to just talk about stuff while I play Minecraft sort of in the background. And, and for me to just play Minecraft and get used to the game. Uh, and these one point, the 1.9 mechanics in preparation to resume mapping when 1.9 properly comes out. Oh, you're a silver fishy. You're a silver fishy too. That's also a silver fish. I wish I had a sp splash poison potion. I'm actually trying to intentionally get them to uh, call out to their friends. I need like a stick with fire aspect on it. I could call it the fish stick. Ah! <laughs> oh, you get it? The 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 fish stick. It's for fish. By the way, uh, no, not this way. Holy crap! Watching uh, Zisto versus Gob was really cool from the marathon. But I gotta say, uh, I was really surprised that Zisto had become so dependent on the sprint toggle button. I've never used that. I've always double tapped W to start sprinting. And there's a flower there. Interesting. Like that's what I've always done in this game. And I was I was just really shocked that he had such a uh, such trouble going back to it. Like he he must have really gotten used to that sprint button. Cuz he mentioned he kept mentioning it like constantly while I was watching. If you haven't seen that, I highly suggest watching it. The banter between Good and Zisto and the back and forth, and then there's Beef and OMG Chad, and that was really good. I had a big problem though with the Twitch, like the streaming, like it really sucked for me. Uh, maybe that's just my internet connection, or the route from Twitch to me, or whatever, but uh, it was really unfortunate. Ah, here we go. Ah! Well, that's one way to get back. <laughs> I need to block that up before something drops on my stupid head. Uh, I need to block this up, like, right now, actually, before I forget. You know, I could have just blocked it up from... from down there. Why am I going... I'm such a dummy. Well, this needs to be lit up anyway. Oh! I found a dungeon! Outstanding! I wonder what kind of dungeon it is. Probably... Probably zombie, because they've all been freaking zombies, and I just want a skeleton dungeon. Wapa! Are you gonna die from that burn damage? Oh, no, you were not anywhere near. You took another hit from that sword, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Much scarier, wow. Uh, what kind of dungeon are you? What dungeon are you? Let's just go on and see. You are a sp uh, spider dungeon. I don't even care. I don't like. It's a spider dungeon. Yay! You can have. You know what? You can have this crap. I'll keep the bones though. I guess I'll take the gunpowder too. What's up? Hey! I thought you were not. I thought you were friendly. I thought you were friendly. Spiders have got to be the least threatening enemy ever. What did I just get hit by? I'm kind of confused. Did a spider spawn behind me? Where the fuck did you come from? What? Anyway, I gotta sign off before this video gets uh, going too long. I'll find my own way back. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to me ramble about out loud about the nether and how I kind of wish it was different. Uh, and maybe next episode we will explore that nether fortress and see what we can find. Anyway, until next time, as always, take it easy.